Well, good morning, folks. Welcome back. I think it's 11.30ish, almost noon, and we are at the USS Batfish Memorial. And uh, as you can see, things aren't quite right. Earlier this spring, we had a lot of flooding in this area. And uh, you can see where it's twisted the, uh, the bridge going up to the ship pulled the concrete up out of the ground and it used to be attached right there and uh, there's a little bench there and I'm going to take you back around they've got some yellow tape up where they don't want you going don't want you getting hurt but you see that little area right there that's where the uh, submarine used to sit and the flood did of course obviously lifted it up the old girl still floats and just kind of moved it over sideways a little bit tearing up uh, tearing up the area a little bit and anyway moved it over kind of at a loss for words but uh you know, like I just mentioned, it's the old girl still floats. But uh, that's what we're doing today. Today is my wife's birthday, and she wanted to come check this place out. And it was hard to get to since things aren't marked real well on the highway. It's, we uh, miss the unmarked turn, go in one direction, come back to find that it was marked the other way. So anyway. Torpedoes. There's my wife and another torpedo. Any aircraft guns? Kind of curious to know what I may take a walk over there. They don't have it roped off, so I just spoke with some people that were visiting from Seattle. It must be uh, munitions cases and stuff. But there's different torpedoes. Gilmore Park. Okay, Howard Walter Gilmore. All right, I'm gonna just kind of curious to see what's, what's down here. It looks like they dug up around that tree and get another angle of the batfish for you. This is kind of an impromptu video. We almost didn't make it over here. They were saying about, they need about $1.5 million to put that ship back where it's supposed to go. And uh, get it open again. I wonder what this is. That. Oh, it's a mast that was discovered uh, in Pearl Harbor. Okay. So, if you see this, the little arrows pointing. This come. This is the mast off the battleship Oklahoma that was uh, torpedoed and capsized in Pearl Harbor. And they found it, I guess. 
front of that, and I think they, if I get the story correct, they uh, sold the, when they, when they got it righted, they sold it for scrap, and it, as they were towing it out, it sank in the ocean. <clears throat> Looks like the flood did a number on this area too. There's uh, the cabling that they've got going to the batfish. Uh, like I said, it wasn't roped off, so I don't know if I'm going to get myself in trouble for being out here or not, but I'll get you guys a shot of the bow. It's a pretty good sized boat. I bet you this would be a, a fun job for the guys that I work with out there shooting airplanes as far as paint. Yeah, the old girl could use a paint job. I guess that. Uh, what you see up front there, that would, would be where the torpedoes would exit the ship. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool that it uh, stayed afloat. Going back to the mast. pause and take some photos for this video. we